grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Face your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is reliable. Say it again. Say, God is reliable. God is dependable. No matter how many people are fighting you, with Jesus on your side, victory is your name. Say it again. God is reliable. Thank you. You may be seated. I want to encourage you as believers. There are many of us, you know, who may not know the reason why people maybe hate you or maybe reject you or why you pass through a lot of, you know, turbulence in this life. First of all, you need to know who you are before God Almighty. Anything good here on earth will never be supported or accepted. This is why you see even those who are like trying to be straight, they are no longer straight. They want, you know, to follow the way of their father. And who is their father? Satan who is unstable in his activities. I want to bring this message to you believers, even to those believers who are watching me. I know that you know, maybe few people who knows that, oh, there's a service on Wednesday from this place, but as the days goes on, people keep on discovering more of what is happening here. But those who are watching me, who are listening to me, I want you to know that God is reliable. God is dependable. No matter how hard it is for you to understand as a human being, but I want you to trust God. In that situation, trust who? As a believer, you want to save God wholeheartedly. You want to do the right things. There are people who are disturbing you within the church. Never you mind whatever they are saying about you. The one you are saving is greater than your enemy. Praise the Lord. We learn from the apostles what they went through. For you to stand to them and say, God of peace and the fire, let your fire come down. There's something that you, you discovered about Paul's life. Can you pray, God of Elijah, send the fire down? If you, you know, you didn't discover that Elijah prayed and fire came down from heaven. It's because you saw that miracle, that fire came down from heaven. I will introduce this message to you, then I will, by the grace of God, I'm believing God for Sunday. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 24. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made heavens and earth and the sea and everything in them. <clears throat> 25. You spoke by the Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our father, David. Why do these nations large and the people plot in vain? 26. The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against the is anointed one. 27. Indeed, Elod and Pontius Pilate meet together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in the city to conspire against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed. They did what your power 
and your will had decided beforehand should have considered now their threats. Listen to the appeal. This is prayer. That was the time when the disciples were released from the hands of the and the Pharisees. They came together and cried to their father. Despite the situation on the ground, if you read the Bible, you discover that all the leaders, they ganged up. Their intention was to kill the disciples. Until one of the, the professor, by the name of Gamaria, came forward and said, please, can you let these apostles, I mean, go out so that uh, we talk? Then he addressed the leader to say, look, this man came. He had, you know, a numerous number of people followed him. You killed him. After a while, another one appeared. Again, you killed him. Now, our current situation, if these people, what they are saying or teaching is not from God, it will disappear. But if it is from God, you are fighting God. Why can't you let them be? I'm just taking you back. And then the leadership decided to flog the apostles and let them go. That was the time they came together and joined hands to say, Father, who is your father? There are so many fathers here on earth, but there's only what? One father, the creator of heaven and earth. Let me finish this one before. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servant to speak your word with what? Great boldness. What does it mean to you as a child of God before I take you back to where are we? The first day, to, I mean, in verse 24. The apostles asking God to enable them because they discover that we are in the flesh. All these threats that we are going through, without the involvement of God Almighty, we may end up fall under their trap. This is why they said, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak the word with greatness and boldness. Meaning, the Holy Spirit has to be part of what we are doing here. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yes. Listen now to 30. Stretch out your hands to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. This is prayer. After they prayed, the place where, this is that one, after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and speak the word with, I mean, with God, the word of God bodily. This is what we are lacking as believers. There are so many things that are threatening your life, both spiritually and physically. Because you don't know that as a believer, our strength is not from human beings. Our protection is not from whatever you have put around your house. Our strength and protection is from God Almighty. There was a time that this, this the apostles were locked up inside the, the public, you know, prison. And then an angel came in the night and loosed them without unlocking what? The doors. <clears throat> this is how God, you know, can do to his children. He released them. The following day, the chief priests and all the leaders said, go and bring those people. You locked them there. We want to question them. They approached the prison. Everything was intact. There was no sign that the, the people are inside are not there. Everything was shown that they are inside. The door was locked. Chains were all over. The jailer unlocked everything. They entered. They discovered that there is no one. Instead, 
the apostles were standing inside the temple courtyard. What am I talking about? Human beings here on earth, they have their own way to live and to say, I'm a Christian. I go to church every Sunday. I am a leader. God Almighty has his own way that he leads his people to salvation and to overcome all the problems. Someone who is filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus backing that person. There is no persecution, frustration, or intimidation that can change your confession. Because your strength is from him, not from what you are going through. The support that make, you know, makes you to live every day is not from human beings or your salary. No, it is from him. Are you there? Are you there? Tell me, the way you pray when things are sour, when people, you know, are opposing what you are doing, you, you claim to be a child of God. But majority of the people are expecting to appreciate you. They are opposing you. Are you going to stand? Can you pray? Now listen to this. Let me call you step by step. I want to, to end the message because of time. And I believe in God to, you know, to help me to continue with this message on Sunday. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made heavens and earth, the sea and everything. This is where you need to know who God is. Everything that you see came from his hand. The sea that you fear, great men and women that you fear, rich people that you fear, lions, snakes, all these things that are threatened in your life. He is the creator. They said all these things came from you. When you are approaching your father, you talk to your father with confidence. Because you know what your father can do. Unless you don't know your father. If you know that my father is a miracle worker, my father is a way maker, even where it seems to be no way, even where people are opposing me or fighting me, as long as my father is in support of what I'm doing, there's nothing to fear or to worry. One with Jesus is what? Majority. This is the way they address their father by reporting their case to him. They never, you know, complain to say, but why are you neglecting us? But why did you allow these people? If it is the will of God for you to be beaten, let them beat you. Because it has already been what? In shulines that they are going to beat you. If you say, don't beat me, then you are saying, Father, I don't want to follow your ways. Even that sickness in your body, if it is the will of God, the sickness will be there, but that sickness cannot take your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many of us who confess Christ with our mouth, but we, know, we don't know who Christ is, what he can do. Human beings are limited. You cannot limit Jesus with your problem. You cannot compare your situation to his power. Everything that you see came from him. Tell me why you should not trust him. He is reliable and dependable. Even if you kill me, you kill the flesh, you cannot kill the nature of God in me. It's a lie. They gang up together, kings and queens. People with higher position in the church against the mission of Jesus. At the end of the day, they lose the battle. Their story is always on the negative side. Fear no one, 
Fear only God Almighty, who can destroy both your spiritual life and your physical life. A man who can kill the flesh is nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our Father. That is David. Everything that you know we see in this book, Bible, came by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why should you be in the flesh and claiming to be the servant of Jesus? You cannot hear from him. You cannot even understand what you are going through. You cannot even interpret your dream. You don't know what is next. Today, if you watch religious people, they are calling miracles, rubbish, and drama. Whether you are healed or delivered, they will call it, this is drama. There is drama in Africa. Churches in Africa is full of drama. Jesus is not, you know, an actor. He is the healer and the savior. And he cannot allow anyone to use his name in vain. Hallelujah. I hope you are a believer. Why do nations large and the, uh, uh, I mean, the people brought against the children of God? Every time you see the hand of God upon one's life, you see a lot of things rising against that person. Even where you are working as a leader, you see a lot of opposition. Why? Anything good will never be supported by anyone. All the kings, the power of men, were defeated. Let me leave this message like this. If you read that book of Hebrews, 4 verse 12, you discover that the word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword. God is reliable and dependable. Tell your neighbor. Why are you trusting man? Why are you trusting man? Why are you limiting yourself because of where you are coming? Immediately you encounter Jesus, know for sure that your life is completely changed. There will be a lot of problems fighting you, but one with Jesus is what? Is majority. You are here on earth on a mission, and that mission is the mission of Jesus. Don't mind what you are going through. Pay attention to what your father in heaven is telling you. God is reliable and dependable. Today, we are like this. Tomorrow, people will start asking questions. How come? What happened? Our Father in heaven is reliable and dependable. People will start asking questions. How come? What happened? They are forgetting one thing. God is not a failure. God can start with two people. Before you know it, you discover that 1,000 people are there. Because he wants every man's heart. The only thing you need to do is to trust him, depend on him. Stop complaining, he's there with you. God can use anyone to save your life. Even your enemy can stand for you. Like Professor Gameria, he said, please, leave these people. If what they are doing is not from God Almighty, it will disappear. And their intention was to kill the apostles. But God entered that person to say, tell your people. Because that man was a, 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 a well-respected man. The professor of the law. God is what? Hmm? God is what? Andy? 
Who is reliable here on earth? We have heard so many prophecies, I mean, a promises. How bring this? Even in our relationship, as you know, a, a man and a woman, your partner will promise you this, will promise you that. Before you know it, what you get is insult. Hmm? Who is reliable now? Who is reliable? So fear no one. You can doubt a man like me. Don't doubt Jesus. That message is pregnant. Everything was made by him to his glory. I want to, after, you know, I'm believing God that you experience the same power they experienced that filled the whole entire place where they were meeting. After calling him wholeheartedly, the place were shaken. And they started, you know, playing and playing bodily, without fear. Even where they knew that they want to arrest us and kill us, they raised their voices. God of our Father, King David, hear us. You are the creator of heaven and earth. And these kings and queens are plotting against your anointed one. Who is that anointed one? Whoever is against you is against Jesus. But in Mwanga Bami Tova Fiolu Pirumana Mbabam Yamba, and a voice Yaku Pepanisha Itajani, Yaya, Nabam Punisha. Let's attach the understand this Uku Punish on one. Umu Mupash, to a punish on Pashua Gales. Jesus Wam Punisha Mikushinganga to attend. Nishinga Mikuam Punish. Tamule of Checha Tao, Nimbuela Lako Panum. Never wear the Lako Panum upon to Charlie Womba. Movie the Wadi Nankungu Funga Banwa, Bakwata Makaya Quenda. If it is the Holy Spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing can frustrate you or intimidate you. Because greater is He who is in you than all these, you know, persecutions and gossiping. God is reliable and dependable. Even where they are planning to kill you. With God on your side, you go there and face them. And they will not kill you. There is no way you can defeat the creator that creates everything, including you who are plotting against the children of God. God is what? And what? Dependable. Uh -huh. God is reliable and dependable. Are you reliable? Can I rely on you? Hmm? Can I rely on you? Can I depend on you? Mm -hmm. Can you rely on your husband or your wife? Uh, say the truth. Mm? Say the truth. Can you depend on your husband? Can you depend on your wife? Are you saying the truth? We are in the presence of God. At the end of the day, you start calling the Holy Spirit. You will not come because you are lying. No, able to watch the Kelamo Fenangu Nipa family. Hmm? <laughs> I've ever to have become a shop. 